us always finds a way. The question now is, where will it take us next? first part of this let's play Jurassic World Evolution Ooh. um yes I'm a wee bit behind the release of this I mean, it's released about a week ago at my point of recording but I was a uh, yeah I was just behind and I had lots of stuff I was really busy but I finally had a chance to sit down and try it last night and I was like you know what just like the first one we're definitely bringing this to the channel I only played it for about 20 minutes or so and then I thought yeah we're gonna jump out we're gonna start a new campaign all together I really like this game what I've seen so far I really like the first one and yeah, we covered the first one we're gonna cover this one too at least for now um, I'm not sure if I'll make this officially yes we're definitely doing a full playthrough at the moment or if we're just gonna do a let's try for now so Either way, hope you enjoy it. There's two campaigns. There's two campaigns, I should say. There's the sort of Chaos Theory story, and then there's the campaign story. Um, so this is kind of new. The campaign is technically new from the first one. This is more like the first game, and this is more like the new stuff in the second. It's sort of set after the newest film. If uh, you haven't seen the newest film, you might want to disappear because a huge spoiler about to appear. And that is the fact that in the newest film, the sort of dinosaurs are released in the world. They're across the planet. You see the Mosasaur behind the surfers kind of thing. You see, uh, like, the dinosaurs running all across the different landscapes and that kind of thing. And this is sort of set in that sort of post-dinosaur escapance uh, world and you've got to try and uh, save them by the looks of things so that's going to be quite interesting and chaos theory is like the first jurassic park game uh, jurassic world game where you're just sort of trying to set up a park so this is like a park for entertainment this is more like wild life preservation so let's uh, jump in campaign this an auto save will be overridden that is okay continue jurassic world this this is where our story begins. A scientific breakthrough without any consideration of the consequences. So nature did what it does and unleashed things. This time we were deeper into the illusion of control and the chaos. But something much worse. And for a moment, we remembered how precious life is. The time has a funny way of softening our memory of what it's like to lose control. And ambition. Ambition is a persistent thing. For the dinosaurs left behind, time was becoming immaterial. From miracles of science to assets destined for exploitation. Perhaps it's time to reflect on the true nature of nature. An endless cycle with one goal, survival. And this means that dinosaurs and humanity have to find a way to work out their differences. Campaign, Arizona. Life finds a way. Dr. Ian Malcolm. Can't imagine who that is. Hmm. No, no idea who played that role. Not like one of the most memed persons ever. Us, a desert is a wasteland devoid of anything but the most extreme examples of life. But creatures once thrived in these lands hundreds of millions of years ago. Given the geological history that we're dealing with, dinosaurs walking among the tumbleweeds isn't that much of a stretch. 
The current situation, where dinosaurs are running wild, is untenable to those in charge, well, those that think they're in charge. So we're left with a problem or an opportunity. This is where you come in. They've ignored my warnings before, but maybe this time with you, it's gonna be different. Famous last like words. The uncertainty. Ah! All right. Okay, Listen to the mission briefing. Introduction is in order. I'm Cabot Finch, Assistant Director of the U.S. Department of Fish and Wildlife. I know it sounds important, because it is, <laughs> but let's not get bogged down in labels and titles and organizational flowcharts. I'll make this easy. You work for me. See, nothing to it. <laughs> You'll be working with the experts. This is Claire Deering and Owen Grady. And yes, we have first-hand experience with the dinosaurs. I'm the former operations manager at Jurassic World. Owen and I actually helped build the park. And unfortunately, we were there to witness its destruction. And this is Owen. He works with Velociraptors. You could call me a dinosaur wrangler, though officially I'm an animal behaviorist. I was just building a level of trust with them when this happens. Okay. So we'll need to get a few things in place ASAP. Start with a response facility, equipped with both a Ranger Team 4x4 and a Capture Team helicopter. Right, so let's do that. Like it says, we've got a wee bit of a tutorial we need to get through it first. Pop that down. It's power. We are making excellent progress, so let's stay focused. Ah. Next step, building a backup generator. Then feeding the energy it creates to the response facility. Already done. So make sure the building is connected to the path network. Already done. It only does Way ahead of you. if it's operational. Way ahead of you. This is building our first building, and hopefully we can get some dinosaurs. Boom, done. Hey Claire. We may have trouble tracking this dinosaur from the ground. And even more trouble if we're lucky enough to find it. Then, the sensible thing is to take a capture team helicopter. You can trank it from the air. See? I like the way I think. Hmm. No. Up a bit. Hello, my little friend. Alright. No, 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 I was wrong button. Wrong button. Got you once. Oh, it's running! It's running! Got you again. Claire, this is Owen. I copy you. We have it. Capture successful. I knew you'd do it. Never had a doubt. Really? Well, maybe one or two? Well, it's better than usual. I'll take it. Now, where do we take this dinosaur? We have the dinosaur. We just need you to deliver. Hey, don't I always? Wait, uh, you don't have to answer that. The crane grabbing the dino, then we can get it in its enclosure. John Hammond get was it protected. concerned about what would happen if dinosaurs lived in the wild. It adds a whole new level of challenge. And perhaps, opportunity. So getting it into the helimiflopter and over it comes. I could get ahead of the game. Because I know it's going to put, ask me to put one of these in soon. And I know it's going to ask me to put in some rocks. But in fact, I'll wait for that. Because that is actual epic gameplay for now. Let's see. Let's just start work on this.
go, I like that. And we've got a little gate there. Oh, they've still been built. Ah, yeah, it takes time to build them. Oh, there we go. Little second enclosure ready. Oh, I instantly recognize this dinosaur. Kind of hard to forget once you've been trapped in a room with one. We couldn't save that Baryonyx, but we can certainly help this one. Make a great horsey, wouldn't it? We zoom in even more. Pretend I'm riding it. There's not a lot out there for but the dinosaur. Pretend we're riding this so we'll need a feeder inside the perimeter of that enclosure. Hungry dinosaurs Already done. make me nervous. Can't disagree with you there. Now I need to perform a status check on it. Oh, it's giving me control of the car. On this Happy. Okay. We need to get a full assessment of the dinosaur's health. Utilize a ranger team vehicle. Owen will help you get a status of the animal's overall welfare. Then we can plan our next move. We really need that? A plan? I mean, I've always been more of a just make it up as I go kind of guy. Tell you what, if this doesn't work, we'll try your way. Hmm, that sort of sounds like a plan. Messing rocks comfort. Okay. So while we can't replicate what we had on the islands, we still have to do what we can to get the dinosaurs more comfortable with their current surroundings oh. here in Arizona. Yeah, don't like me, let's get out of here. Drinks by the pool. How's that sound? Are you Let's seriously asking? Or pretend asking? Okay, Claire. How about we add some preferred terrain to their pens instead? Better? Right. Environment. He wants some more rocks. He likes rocks for some reason, so we will add him rocks. Rocky enough for you? Where are you? Comfort is up. He is happy chappy. Happy chappy. He would like slightly more rocks. He would like... Oh, he likes that gets rock up too. It doesn't need to be actual rocks. Ah, there we go. Now it's 100% perfect enclosure for him now. We've got to monitor these dinosaurs more closely. That means setting up a ranger post inside their enclosure. It sounds crazy, I know, but this will work. Trust me. Let's stick that there. So it's got a good view onto the other area too. Now I need to assign you a task. Pop that there and let's go into closures. Let's add a gate. There. I'm getting reports of dinosaurs so running the freely two. around the facility, Claire. The reports may be accurate, but they don't paint a complete picture of our current status. Angry dinosaurs on the loose. What am I missing? They're not angry. They're simply acting on instincts. The more threat the dinosaurs feel, the more hostile they'll become. Especially if they sense survival is at stake. But it is. Both theirs and ours. Yeah. But only we know that. Oh! We'll start by tranquilizing one of the dinosaurs from the helicopter. Yeah, you best and get out of there. Transport team, bring it back to the facility. Great. Do it. <laughs> There's bits of car left behind. That's okay. Yeah, you just better get out of there. Right, now we have to locate and tranquilize the nearby Triceratops. Let's do that then. Let's take control. We've seen them earlier, let's get over there and tranquilize them. We'll tranquilize all three of them and we'll get them ready. Oh, that was a good hit from far away. Adjusting position. Uh, 
Oh, I missed. Got him. Oh, missed. Got him. Oh, he stopped running just as I... Oh, he keeps turning. Stop turning. Got him that thing. Come out of that. We can grab you. Into the second enclosure. You. Second enclosure. You. Second enclosure. Three helicopters all at once. Lovely. That'll be all the dinosaurs in this area that I'm aware of captured and back into an enclosure to keep them nice and safe. And to keep the rest of the wildlife safe from them. Right, so whilst they're transporting these over, let's uh, think about in here the terrain they're going to need. I've already got them some enclosure stuff. Asset has been collected. They are not going to need a water feeder. They are. Gonna need some water in here. Water. We've got some place to drink right now. They are grass eaters. Uh, I think it was fiber. I remember from last time because I'm all cheating a wee bit because I've already done this, and I think it's fiber they like to eat. Let's just put some variety in here as well. Because it looks good. I can't remember what type of soil they like. Written in that list. All the trees in there too, there's a wee bit of variety. Ornamental. Right, so now we're going to need to isolate the Triceratops from other dinosaurs. It's done. Construct a new transport enclosure. Or it's done. Well, I'd say our operations are improving. I'm confident we may get a handle on this yet. But I'm also I'll concerned. I put that there. That gives us great view on about our both. biodiversity. Still, so, for now, let's put focus one there like on that. keeping the dinosaurs safe and secure, as well as building some additional viewing galleries the DFW staff can use to monitor the animals. Where was the? So there it is. Oh, other way, other way, other way. Yeah, what was the rotate? There we go. We stick that there. There we go. And give each one their own one. But they are going to need paths sorted. It is right, and we'll get path. Continue this path down. Don't worry, you'll get connected. We're just putting a path all the way around. Outside a buildable area. Aww. There we go. Half's come round. Hey, how this building's here. I wish I could move stuff around. Probably can, but I'm too lazy to actually go and do it. So. There we go. With so many of the animals running free, our priority has to be capturing as many of them as possible. We can coordinate our efforts from an expedition center. Get one built and we'll take it from there. Pop it there like so. Have a 
path there for it like so. I thought I'd be able to have a path just going straight up the side, not come out a wee bit then have to go down, so I'm kind of regretting building it sideways now. I thought it'd look cool sideways if I could just get a path going straight down, but... Let's see, where is one of the... Oh, they're all here. The Triceratops, they like... The comfort's 100%. Perfect. Some help would sure be appreciated. Claire tells me there are some candidates to recruit. Scientists. Hopefully you can find one as rough and tumble as I am. Perfection. The Triceratops are comfort's 100%. The Bariatrix, is it? Bariatrix? Or Baryonyx? Baryonyx? I can't... I'm, 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 yeah. it's a t that's harder to say than you think. It's happy as Larry, got this little fishy feeder. These are new from this one. Actually, really, I just sort of blew over it when I built it earlier. I just sort of placed it without letting you know what it was or why it was I was placing it. But yeah, it's like a little fish feeder. This guy likes eating fish. And so I've got one of him, and I've got three triceratops. I've got these viewing galleries too now. I think someone's actually in there taking a nosy at them. i got one here too. I can see, uh oh, what, oh, oh, whoa, I don't know what happened there, but a frame drop or something. Coronal seems fine, everything seems fine. There's, just, there's a giant frame drop or spike or something there. Yeah, they all, they don't look like tourists anymore, they look more like rangers. That's something that's different from this game. How do you make money in this mod? I don't know, it's not really talked about that yet. But anyway, yeah, it was talking about scientists, so let's view scientists and we should recruit one. Recruit scientists. So we got Walter Bell, Matilda Crosby, and Trisha Sharma. They're all level one. She's got three out of eight logistics, two out of five genetics, and two out of five welfare. 5 out of 10 logistics, 0 out of 3 genetics, and 0 out of 2 welfare, 2 out of 8, 0 out of 8. So you're the worst completely. You've got the lowest cap and the lowest starting skill, so goodbye, we're not recruiting you. And you're more expensive than her. Uh, you have the better cap, oh wait, but then 5, add them all up, 10, that's 15. There, yeah, you've got a higher cap altogether. Yeah, we're going to go with you, you're the best. You've got, you start off with the best, most skills, and you've got the highest kill tab. Trait journalists increase all skills by one. Oh, oh. Logistics specialists increase logistics potential by five and logistics skill by three. Decrease time for 50% research tasks. Yeah, we're going to go for you because generalist sounds great to me. Having one plus one in all skills. That doesn't increase your cap, but you've already got higher caps than her anyway. If you add them all together, like 855, you sound like you're good at everything. And really, I don't know what anything does at the moment, so we're going with you. Oh, you're expensive too, though. We'll go for the expensive one. You seeing this, Claire? Yeah, I sure am. This is our first live capture opportunity. Let's not miss it. We should assign that scientist you just hired to the task. Agreed? Agreed. Owen, you there? Oh. I think you're still muted. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, good idea. Uh, what do we got to lose? You know, except the, maybe a new recruit. Probably defense improved yield. Don't have either of those. Right. View the expedition map. Oh, urgent message. Our operatives in the field have received an incident alert about the dangerous dinosaur approximately to the public in the outskirts of Las Vegas. Two injured have been reported, and we need to send a live capture expedition to immediately capture and contain the threat. Go to the incident alert. It's here. Incident at Las Vegas. So requirements. I could send you requires three. Requires two in this skill. Well, you've got three. That's good. Start the task. There's a Stegosaurus running rampage in Las Vegas! Before the remote capture teams return, we should have enclosures ready for the dinosaurs. Think of it as welcoming them back home. Can I not put it in here? Would they not be happy with uh, being in beside these guys? Population. Seems happy area. 
Would the Triceratops and Stegosaurus not be happy beside each other? They both eat the ground, so I imagine they would be. I'll start building another enclosure, but I don't think I'm going to need it. There. Low power. Oh, incoming transmission. Four captured! Zero evaded species Stegosaurus. Oh, there's gonna be four of them. Okay, maybe that's why they need. Should I put them in? I think they'll be fine in here. I'm gonna. Transit has commenced. Asset in transit. transit. I think they'll be fine in there. We're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. Ah, this is ugly. Look at this. I've built it at a weird angle. I'm going to demolish all of this. Don't like it. Don't like it. Don't like it. I built it at a weird angle. We're just going to go with this. Here you go. And you go to your new enclosure, Stegosauruses. I would imagine you'd be very happy in here beside the Triceratops. Our status checks. That's where Stegosaurus isolate the Stegosaurus from other dinosaurs. Oh, so I do need to isolate them. <sighs> okay. Right, is there a way I can turn grids on or something to... Closer than the other side, but at least then I've got it at the right angle. We'll make it the same size as the other side. And was it free? Oh. I like that line thing it showed me. Starting to work on this enclosure. It's going to need power. Right. Pop that there. That should power everything. Like that. There. So if I build another enclosure, it will be thingy too. Oh, Vehicle destroyed. Oh. Stegos! Stegosauruses were mean. Right, let's say. Uh, start tranquilizing these Stegosauruses. Looks like they're thinking about fighting, which is not a great. So we'll get them tracked and over into their new enclosure. Which I'm going to need to build a gate on. Put 
one there, one there for fat and swap the enclosures over. Oh, what's this? Shelter. Okay, I'll need to pay attention to that later. Right, transportation, Stegosaurus into the new area. Stegosaurus into the new area. Stegosaurus into the new area. Right, so it's all of them being grabbed. Stick one of them there. It's going to need a path. Happy days. Oh, do I need to click? Oh, wait, because it was destroyed. Asset transportation in progress. How do I go about? Assets in the air. Replace it. There we go. Right. Add task. So it's got two tasks. Looking after these two observation points. Hopefully the Stegos don't kill them again. Right, let's get this enclosure ready. They're going to need some water. Right, missing. It needs ground fruit. Okay, so let's... Uh, okay. Edit environment. I'm not following you, Owen. Well, it's just like the dinosaurs are always watching us. So, shouldn't we be watching them? Yes, we should. Once we have the dinosaurs comfortably settled into their enclosures, we'll need viewing galleries. That's what I'm saying. Only Art again, some. Art again, some. And these ground fruit. Round through it as well. There we go, now it's perfect. You need some water, you've got your water. Perfect. Perfect little enclosure for you. It'll keep you happy. Happy. Happy chappies. I'm a happy chappy. I like these enclosures. I like how you sort of there's there's a lot more to it now, and I love how you don't have to put those damn feeders in. And those damn feeders, they were a pain in the backside. I'm to constantly replenish them. The first one. So where's the guy that's meant to be? Here he is. He's a happy chappy. Comfort level 100. Happy chappy me. That means. Then we've got one of you. Then we've got three triceratops. Where are they? Happy Chappies, their comfort ratings all 100% too, which is great. Weather warning received. Uh oh. Owen. Owen. We have a real problem. I'm trying, Claire, but it's just. Well, this is who I am. Not you. Ah, the dinosaurs. Tell me something I don't know. Okay, how about this? There's a massive sandstorm headed our way, and it could wipe out the facility. Without power, the safety of the dinosaurs could be at serious risk. Okay, listen to me, Claire. We'll figure this out. Have I ever let you down before? Actually, no. And I'm planning on keeping it that way. Everything we can do, we will do. We've survived worse. What's a little sad? Right, with that warning, I think it is the perfect time for us to say, ah, I hope you've all enjoyed this. Join me on next time where we're going to see if we can survive this weather storm. Oh, that's what we need to do to the other enclosures. Add a wee bit of height. That'll make them look a lot better. I hope you've all enjoyed this. Join me next time. I'll see you all there. Bye, see, bye. <laughs>